Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to swap faces. The technique can also be tailored to swap just specific features, which will create a fun caricature. Open the photos of the two people whose faces you want to swap. I downloaded these and the others from Shutterstock.com. Both faces should be focused be facing in the same direction, and be lit from the same angle. Decide which person you'd like to transplant the face onto, and make a copy of it. To do this, press Ctrl-J on Windows, or Command-J on a Mac. Open the other photo, and open your lasso tool. Draw around the eyes, nose, and mouth, leaving room around the features. If you want to swap just one feature, like, say, the nose, just draw around the nose to select it. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut the image inside the selection and copy it to its own layer. To place the face onto the other person, press V to open your Move tool and drag it onto the tab of your other subject. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and release. Drag it over the other face and reduce its opacity so we can see through it. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. To reposition it, drag inside the transform so the eyes line up on the face. To rotate it, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it until it matches the angle of the face under it. Once you've sized and angled it, increase its opacity back to 100%. Feel free to finesse its size, angle, and position until you're happy with it. Then press Enter or Return. Control click or Command click on the thumbnail of the face to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select. Modify, and Contract. I'll contract it 10 pixels, however, you may want to adjust this amount depending on the size and resolution of your photo. Type in an amount that contracts the selection approximately this much. Make Layer 1 active, and press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete the area of the image inside the selection. If we hide the top and bottom layers, we can see the area it deleted. Now that we deleted that area, we can deselect it. Make the bottom and top layers visible again, and shift-click on the face to highlight both layers. Go to Edit, and Auto Blend Layers. Tick Stack Images, and make sure Seamless Tones and Colors is checked, then click OK. Automatically, it blended together the colors, brightness, and contrast of both images. We chose Stack Images because this option works best with Aligned Layers, which is what we have. It blends the best details in each corresponding area. The Auto Blend Layers command applied layer masks to each layer to mask out over or underexposed areas. To make a seamless transition between the two layers, Make a composite snapshot of your image by pressing Ctrl-Shift-Alt-E on Windows or Command-Shift-Option-E on a Mac. Hide layers 2 and 1 and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the active layer. Open your brush tool and brush picker. We'll take care of the size in a moment. Make the hardness 0% and the opacity and flow 100%. Then press Enter or Return. To make your brush larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket keys on your keyboard. Now brush over the areas that you want to have a smoother transition.
This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.